Hey guys, it's Justin with Joyce Lindy, and on today's video, we're gonna do a little shop with me challenge. So I thrift a lot to find a lot of my my items that I use in my home, but especially in my doll collection. And so you can find amazing things at really cheap prices. So for example. And it's perfect scale. So I'm going to show you a few things as I go throughout the store. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's put everything into perspective. So you may have seen um, these fancy metal bathtubs and design magazines or home improvement stores. The planter that we pick up is a perfect size for a fashion doll. You can make it really, really fancy and beautiful. Um, you can fabricate it with some beads or some little metal pieces to make it look like a faucet. You can hang a, a faux shower curtain and you can make a very elegant bathroom. So that is really the focus of why I wanted to use it. Let's proceed. Let's see. This. The large Barbies. She is. Why would they price this? Seventeen dollars. Ridiculous. So sometimes you go to stores and like the prices are ridiculous. So we're gonna keep going. Okay. I already have this one, so this can go back in the car. Okay, store number one was a bust. So I just left just with the little um, tin basin that I showed you previously. Their toys, for some reason, was ridiculously high. And this store usually has some of the best deals. I don't know if they're trying to gear up for this big Monday sale where everything's going to be half off. Who's to say? But we not paying that for some used toys when that's the same price it'd be in the store. Come on now. So, store number two. Better get it. Okay, so we're in store number two, and its toy section is very, very small. So we are going to see what they got. What they have, but I wanted to say what they got just because I wanted to be stupid. But hi. I'm gonna get it because you don't really ever see this particular horse at a thrift store. Oh snap! I totally didn't see this. Cool red. Um, the red. Oh my god, I can see. I'm so excited. The Tyrannosaurus Rex from Power Rangers. It's a Magin X because X is the number. Oh cool, you can both of Thank you. Bye bye. I have to like really throw that in my basket because I don't want anybody trying to take it from me. So surprised I really did not see that in the background when I saw the horse. I just said, oh, horse. So cool. So, this is a shoe thing. I think this is maybe Polly Pocket. 
is this? It's definitely not a one sixth doll. It's by Moose. It'd be cute if it was in scale, but I don't collect little dolls like that. Hey, Mom, what's for dinner? <clears throat> Dinner time used to sound like almost every night at my house. You know, sometimes you don't get it out. Some more little things to figure out. And that's why I say every moment that you're going to take EOM has been such a help for me. Jeff Sandra noticed that some of these were not only ideas for dinner, but with gifts on baby. And how you fight them for very ingredients. She has a way of inspiring the inner cook in me with her fun stories and interesting food bags. And now I'm never at a loss on what to cook for dinner. So I can savor the moment with my family around the dinner table. Dinner is my mom. If you'd like to get answers to the most important question of the day, what's for dinner? You can tune in to 88.5 every Tuesday and Thursday at 645 in the morning, 445 in the afternoon, or 45 at night for a savory moment. We're on our way to a hot baby for this afternoon. So I think I did relatively well. So what do you guys think? So from the first store, we got the little um, flower planter that could be like a one six scale um, fancy bath tub. And then from our second store, we got a vintage, I believe it's a Diana Ross, um, like um, 18 inch doll. Could be wrong, but I'm gonna research it. But I do believe that was one of the ones that I've seen that was made by I forget that 70s company, but I, I believe I featured it in my 28 Days of Doll Facts, but I can go back and research it. Then we find the Imaginex um, um, Red Ranger um, T-Rex Zord. That was an awesome find. I was not expecting to see that. And then we got the horse from Frozen, Sven, I believe that's his name. Um, I really, really love his face. And I love that all of his hair is intact. Um, it was only $3, but, you know, I am a frugal shopper. So, I don't think he was worth $3. And I don't say, I don't want to say he was not worth $3. I don't think he should have been priced $3. However, comma... I think for his completeness, that was fine. Okay, guys, heading into store number three. So let's see if we can find something good here, too. Yo. Barbie wardrobe. Okay, so probably going to be this. $4. Yeah. You know what you can do 
I remember the style of Target. So these won't fit like a normal 18 inch. This is only like the Willy Wisher size. And I think even these may be a little bit smaller than Willy Wishers. So this would not work with anything else even though it's really pretty. So I decided against the two items that I found, which is the Barbie wardrobe. It was $4 and then the Barbie like fashion designer thing where it like sprays all the glitter. There was nothing I could do with either one of them because the wardrobe was missing drawers and it just wasn't worth $4. Maybe if it had all the drawers in it, then it would have made it practical. And then the fashion designer thing, the piece itself was pretty because it looked like an ordinate cabinet, but it served no purpose. So, passing it along. Oh well. Off to the next one, y'all. My fourth and final thrift store that I'm going to. Um, this one sometimes gives me surprises, so hopefully there'll be something good at this one. Okay, so let's see. Start on this end. confident this is everything because everything is like literally taped together and I can see all four sides of it and again this is the top and base so I'm pretty confident everything is in there so cool so it says $2.98 what are their discount codes today oh no it's blue and yellow so no discount, but that's still good for $3. Well, guys, that's the end of my shopping shenanigans for today. We did get a few good items. We got that um, tin planter that we're going to try to use for a fashion doll size doll in a scene. We got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers T-Rex Zord. We got, I believe, a Diana Ross uh, collectible doll. And we also got another vintage doll and some other cool stuff. So I'm going to do a full kind of layout of what we got today and what I was able to research about them. Okay, so here's a close-up of the Diana Ross doll. I believe she's Diana Ross. It has to be. Look at that face. That has to be her. The markings are 1969 Ideal Company. Um, I do believe this is one of the dolls that was on my 28 Days of Black Doll Facts that I did um, for the month of February for Black History Month. So I'm going to do a quick Google search and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're doing our Google search using our markings and said just the keyword of Diana and 1969 Idea Toy Corp. We're able to find that yes, this actually is a Diana Ross doll. It is 18 inches, and as you see on the doll that we actually purchased from the thrift store, the little boa, orange boa part of her dress was unfortunately removed. I'm more impressed that her hair was intact, and it's still beautiful. So I'm happy about that. I'm pretty sure I can go to the crap store and find some orange boa, you know, 
crafting supplies to fix that. I mean, I would definitely want to restore it to make it look as beautiful as possible. So here, this article is just giving me some history of the Diana Rest doll um, prototype. So cool. Okay, next up is this lovely guy here. So I know I'm originally when I was in the store, I was calling him Finn from Frozen. And of course, as you all know, Finn is actually like an um, uh, antelope or whatever animal. Anywho, so I looked him up and he's actually the horse from Rapunzel. And he is sound activated if you um, tilt his head. Well, it was working earlier. Let me try it again. Ah. Let me try it this way. So he bows, that's what it is. You push him down to do his his royal bow. So, cute little horse. So, something that you guys also may know is that I am doing a little form scene for my Sweet Orchard Farm series because I really love these dolls. And so I have this barn that I also picked up from a thrift store previously, but not from the truck that you guys saw. And I'm so happy that he does fit in scale. So I will be able to put him in there. He's a little too big because I would have rather him to kind of be able to look out more. But I mean, he does relatively fit. So I'll probably just have him displayed by his little um, horse barn or whatever you call this, but cool. So I got that part. So the next thing I do want to show is the Imaginex Red Ranger Tyrannosaurus Rex Zord. So, so awesome. So the Imaginex toys, they're basically like I would say like um, toys that are made for like toddlers to small children to kind of introduce them into playing with more um, more advanced toys um, for children. So kind of right before they're able to like fully play with action figures and may have small pieces, um, they get the Imaginex toys. And so the Imaginex figures, they're like really chunky figures and they have really big feet and all of their pieces pretty much stay together. So it's safer for small children to use them. So that's why this is, has like this little um, landing pod on it. But I just love it for display. Like this is so cool. Like I am like one of the hugest um, Power Rangers fan. So finding this was just like amazing for me. It has great little action if you tilt its head, the mouth opens, you can pose the arms. Super cool. So as far as you know the success of today's trip, I say that it was most definitely a success. Hi guys, thank you so much for supporting this video. As you see, we got some awesome finds. We found some vintage items. We found uh, some new school items. All these wonderful things are found in amazing thrift stores. Fortunately, I live in an area where we have an abundance of them, so there's a wide variety of things to, to find. You know, people may be clearing out their old collections. Some things may just actually be donated based, you know, on someone's estate. So you always never really can expect to see the things that you find because they're always going to be a surprise. The sources and the reasons why they're at that thrift store are so widespread that you literally can find a gold mine of items or you can just find something that may just be a recent toy that a child just does not um, want to enjoy at the moment. And so you may even find you something that may be new in the store right now and find it much cheaper at their store. I find stuff like that all the time. So I hope this encourages you to also try thrifting and doing some hauls yourself. It's so much fun. But I also like because it's therapeutic. You know, it's, it's a search. You get to test your knowledge as like a toy collector. You can find all these different things. But then I also like the exercise of it, like roaming around these stores. Like you pick up so many, you know, you know, daily footsteps. So 
Just do it for whatever reason that brings you happiness. And as always, guys, thank you so much for your support.